So yeah, my name's Paul, and I'm, uh, I run a, a vertical farming company um, based in Liverpool. Um, so we do plant an awful lot of seeds. Um, so this is the vertical farm. We use a technology called hydroponics. Um, so there's about 4,500 plants grown in the farm that have all obviously grown from seed. Um, and the seeding process is arguably the most important um, part of the plant's life, because if you get that wrong, then you know, it's like humans, the kind of starting life's really important, and you end up wasting a lot of money feeding them and giving them light. If they've had a bad start, it's, it's, it's really hard to kind of um, to work past that. So, you know, seeding really is important, and, and we invest a lot of time and energy kind of getting that right, and it allows us to grow really fresh, healthy, nutritious produce, um, and kind of get that out to, to people um, all over Liverpool, hopefully in, in the most sustainable way possible. Um, so that's just kind of setting the context and, 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 and a bit of an insight into what we do. But, but really, I want to um, challenge you guys to kind of uh, seed your own idea today. Um, and I'd like to take you on a, on a visual journey. Um, so what I'm going to ask you all to do is to close your eyes, if that's OK. So I thought you might be an easier crowd. I did this in the, um, with a load of suits, uh, investment bankers and real estate guys at a conference a few months ago, and the looks I got were not, uh, were not as happy as yours. So if you would indulge me, close your eyes for me. Um, and then I'd like you to start from the chair, the nature chair. So imagine yourself sitting in that chair. Um, you know, because ultimately all seeds get their start in life from nature, whether it's an idea or a human or um, a plant seed. Feel what it's like to be held by nature, to be at one with her. Then I'd like you to think of your hometown or city. Um, now, then I'd like you to think, what's the highest point in that city? Is it a cathedral tower, a nice hotel, an office building? Just picture that in your mind. Now imagine getting to the top of that building and looking out over your home city. What do you see and what do you feel? So as you can probably tell, my home city is Liverpool. Um, when I look out over Liverpool, I feel a real sense of pride. I see a rich history. I see innovation, capacity, but I also see a lot of concrete. So what do you see and feel when you look out over your city? And just get that picture in your mind. Now I'd like you to fast forward 5, 10, 15, 20 years, almost like a time lapse. How does the city change? What do you see now as those images flash before your eyes? So if I think of Liverpool, I think the pride will remain I think the innovation will continue to grow, but the capacity and the concrete will be replaced with green, with life, with nature. And with that green, the city will become a cleaner, healthier, more inclusive place. So that's kind of a, a, a seed I planted about 10 years ago of how I'd like to see you know, my city and other cities across the UK change. But how, how we green our cities is up for grabs. You know, we could plant more trees, so maybe think about trees being planted all over your home city. We could install green roofs, and both of these have merit, and they'll certainly green the city, increase biodiversity, which are brilliant. But I believe there's a better way, a way that provides high-tech meaningful jobs, generates revenue, supplies fresh, nutritious food, cleans the city's air, hosts education and visitor centers, creating a place where people can come together to eat, drink, and be. And I think this is delivered through a network of community-embedded rooftop urban farms, or urban oases, as we call them. So I'd like you to invite you to open your eyes now. So the image that you see there is kind of a seed that I planted years ago. And it's sort of the vision that I've got for, for concrete buildings in cities across the UK. Um, but what I'd like to sort of encourage you to do as we leave is to set yourself the intention or ask yourself, you know, what seed are you going to plant for your town or city, the one you call home? 
How can you make it a better place? And I'd encourage you to do that visualization, whether it's in your business or your city, to kind of fast forward how you see that happening over the next five, 10, 15 years. But it really all does start with that seed and how you care for and nurture that seed. So maybe just take a moment before I finish to kind of think about what that might be for, for your business or you as an individual. You know, what seed or intention are you going to plant to make your home city a better place? Thank you.